this is just going to be um, a, a beginner's level introduction to each of those different four initiations um, so that you can um, receive the validation that you need knowing that you are starting at the right level. And so um, for the totality or the big picture here, um, joining me and working together this way, uh, the one concept that I need everybody to know is that you are spiritually enlightened. You are the fifth initi initiation. You were born at initiation level five, fully conscious, fully um, connected to the divinity of you, your authenticity, who you're supposed to be in this world. Yet what we do is, uh, is we become a bit human and we bit uh, become a bit inundated with the human journey. And so what happens is along the way, we start to doubt that we are this enlightened being. And so everything I do, everything I teach is to help you understand possibly the level of awareness you're getting stuck in. And of course, I've named these, these funny, cute little names to help you kind of identify quicker. The spiritual baby, spiritually, uh, the spiritual adolescent, teenager or adult just so you can understand what level of awareness you might be getting stuck in either in your external reality or this internal reality. And so each of those levels or those cute names attached to the different um, levels and bodies that we can expand into. And so when something happens along the way and we begin distrusting, it becomes hard to see past that to the bigger picture. And so even though we are always connected to the bigger picture and everything that's happening to us is always in alignment, facilitating that bigger picture into our lives, there become times when we need the validation and assistance. And so that's what each of these levels and assessments was created for. And so we're going to get right into this and I'm going to remove myself now and we're going to dive into each of these different levels uh, more uh, fully to understand if this is the right place for you. And so now bridging the gap to the spiritual adult, the fourth initiation level. And so um, again, this slide here is a slide that is discussed in the long version video. This is just a, um, a quick tutorial on what it means to be the spiritual adult. If you have self-identified as this fourth initiation level, this fourth journey. Um, so the fourth journey is all about bridging the gap between what we call low self or the person who has gone through, done a lot of clearing work on their physical body, their emotional body, and their mental body, which means they are in harmony with who they are emotionally, mentally, and physically, that the human that they project into this world, they are in trust and connection to. Now, signs that you are at this fourth initiation level um, would be you are, so I'm just going to have to read because it's pretty funny here, the uh, identifying qualities of the spiritual adult. Um, your human identity, right? Again, the human identity is comprised of our physical, our emotional, and our mental. So knowing that we are the total sum of all of those parts and that we are going to constantly feel and experience from each of those levels and layers. So your human identity is questioned at every turn. Uh, and, and that this is the human, um, we're constantly questioned, is this my human agenda? Is this my high self or my divine agenda? There's so much awareness that we are multidimensional and, and operating from so many different um, feeling states, thinking states, acting states, that you are in constant question. Is this me? Is this high self? Is this my purpose? Is this my ego? Is this? It's like a constant pendulum swing. When you are bridging, the fourth initiation level is all about bridging the low self, the human, to the high self, the divine part of your, your essence. And so um, when we're still living in a fractal world, when we have yet to completely acknowledge that we are spiritually enlightened, which means we are all things, all layers, and our goal is to remain centered, when you are still kind of fractured and operating from just the limitations of one of these planes, if it's here that you find yourself as the spiritual adult, you have a very strong message. You have done so much work on yourself. You are probably a healer, a teacher, a mentor. There, You are using 
using your voice, you are using your gifts and talents in a very um, predominant way for other people. Um, other people see you as being somebody who has mastered certain levels of the human journey. And yet, you are still getting triggered. And this is beautiful because this means you are still human. So welcome to the human phase. But there's a lot of questioning. Because the quickening is just that. It's quickening, heightening, intensifying so rapidly. You constantly question um, as you hit into different levels. You will get triggered by an emotion and you think you have already healed that emotion. You will get triggered by mental thought forms and you will have thought you've already understood yourself from this plane of existence. You will get triggered so quickly, so intensely. Your physical body will run through physical sensations, illnesses, changes in eating habits, and you will wonder and question why and so this is a huge sign that you are in the spiritual adult level and that there is still a bit of understanding that needs to come forth from all levels and layers of this kind of trusting center that you're you are um you are so connected to but have yet to hold firm every conscious breath breath you take and so the quickening is happening so rapidly now that you're probably daily if not weekly letting go of old outdated paradigms and belief systems and things you thought were truths of you and have come to realize that there's still old paradigms and things that are creating a reality that is not your highest truth of a reality and so we are so conscious so aware as the spiritual adult and we're typically revered for our message and who we are and everything we've done for ourselves yet there is still this internal questioning and this is because there is a part of you that still holds on to controlling and when we it means you're leaning a bit too much into the human reality meaning that you've locked out a bit of the trust and centering and mastery that comes with being in full acceptance that you are the enlightened being and you have always been the enlightened being and there's a bit of control over your divine destiny and path and this is because you are so sensitive you can feel into so many things that you almost have these expectations that um that are expectations because you feel into the gravity of what you're supposed to create yet you want to control it and create it like you've created it before in the past and part of the um, fourth initiation or walking the bridge from the human self to the high self means that you have to let go of the way the human operated before and almost surrender into the vulnerability of being um a fluid expression of energy every moment every conscious second you are awake on this planet and so because when you're holding this much connectivity um, everything is shifting and changing so quickly and you are basically a part of the unity plane or the the higher connectivity of all human beings and so you must be like the currents that move through the ocean and change you know when you're needed to change for the best course of everything that's connected not only to you with you through you by you but you know in expression of how you're choosing to live this divinity on earth and so um, then when we fully claim this mastery, this trust in everything, and this center point stillness, we become the enlightened. We become the full recognition that everything we went through through all of these levels was just to experience ourselves through each of the levels. That that uh, when we reflect back and look, that we were all things all the time, but it was our limitation of only choosing to see through one lens, whether that be the physical world lens or the emotional world lens or the mental world lens. When we were choosing to see only through a certain lens, that that's all we were given access to and so when we can trust that we are every single level that we are emotional and that means we're the high highs and we're the low lows that we are physical that means we're the pain and we're the pleasure that we are the mental that we are the past and we are the future and that when we can hold all of those potentials and remain in the center most point of all of it we are the spiritually enlightened and so that would be the fifth initiation level when you do the coursework for the spiritual adult 
it's basically taking um, everything you are and it's just training it. There are many options to um, also teach at this level. And so um, the the beauty of getting to this level and, uh, and claiming that I am spiritually enlightened means that you are a part of the membership um, without any cost anymore because you've you've claimed I am the spiritually enlightened and so you basically become the lifetime embodiment of your enlightenment <laughs> and so um, this is the beauty of, of staying centered and so with light and love.